Hey everyone, I have a couple new things to share with you before we get into what this video is about today. The first thing is that I now have a Patreon. If you're interested in supporting me, if you like what I'm doing here, check out the link in the description. I appreciate it so much. The other thing is just a reminder that I have a Facebook group called Points and Miles Enthusiasts. You should totally check it out, join it, and be part of the bigger conversation around travel and travel hacking. Also, this is on a more personal note, but I do think it's important to share because watching and editing my own videos is actually the reason I decided to do this. So I am finishing up month four of Smile Direct Club, which if you haven't heard of it, is an invisible aligner company that straightens teeth. I heard about it from a friend kind of at just the right time because when I was watching my videos, I was really noticing how crooked my bottom teeth had become which isn't something I would see like looking in a mirror because I would be like that and it would kind of cover it up. But on my videos when I'm talking, I would see the bottom teeth a lot. So I'm wearing the aligners right now actually. Um, and like I said, I'm on month four, so there's been a lot of progress. If you look back at my videos from like two, three months ago, you can see um, how bad they were. So I used my friend's referral link to get $100 off. I went in for my scan, which was actually a really cool experience because you get to see your teeth in this 3D model right away. And um, then a, like a couple, like a week later, I think, I got my six month plan and received my aligners about three weeks after the initial scan. So it's been a great experience so far. I've had no issues. I've got two months left and the results are already pretty impressive. So I highly recommend if you've been thinking about getting your teeth straightened, um, this might be a good option for you. And they will tell you if it's not. If you need like more detailed orthodontic work, they will let you know that the plan isn't for you. Um, this is the most cost effective way that I could find to take care of my teeth straightening that is a reliable and reputable company. Um, you can get $100 off your plan by using the link in the description. And like I said, highly recommend. Okay. So I'm coming to you today from my favorite place in Mexico. Um, we come here a couple times a year. It's where we eventually want to live. Um, we're spending a month here and I'm calling it a workcation because I'm running my music school remotely and I'm doing my online accounting job here during the week as well. Um, but the best thing about it is that the background can change every day. So one day I'm working out of a Starbucks, um, another day I'm by the pool with my laptop or in a hotel or like I am here today in our apartment. So th this month for us is like to experience the reality of working entirely online and being in Mexico longer term and not as tourists, more as like we're trying to like live here and be part of the local culture. So um, I'm gonna start with how I got here because that's sort of the travel hacking aspect of today's video. I was able to find flights in business class on United for 60,000 miles plus $81.50 per person round trip. So the total for three of us was 180,000 miles and $244.50 actual money. So that was pretty easy and um, it was my first time actually flying in business class. It was really basic business class as far as what I've read and heard about business or first class. Um, the seats were bigger, but they weren't anything crazy special or impressive. Um, they weren't like lay flats or anything. The food was good. Uh, most of all, they treat you better. And to be honest, it feels like that's what flying should be like all the time. And probably what it used to be like when flying was sort of above the mainstream public, like everybody can afford to fly. So as far as getting that many miles, I did it by getting both the personal and business versions of the Chase United Mileage Plus Explorer cards over the past year and just meeting the minimum spend for those sign up bonuses. And then I transferred some points from Chase Ultimate Rewards at a one to one point value to top off my account. We arrived and we had an Airbnb booked for the month. Um, it was in a location that we're familiar with, so we already knew the neighborhood and we were really excited to be there. But there were things off about it from the beginning. And my husband right away was like, we can't stay here. Um, and I was trying to be more flexible, reminding myself that it's Mexico. Things don't always go as planned. Things are not always as perfect as you expect them to be. But things just kept coming up. And honestly, um, 
When the German cockroaches started invading my shower on the second night, I said, that's it. Um, I actually used to be a licensed exterminator, fun fact about me, and I do know that German cockroaches carry disease and they also can leave their eggs in your clothing and belongings and you can end up taking them home, which was not something I was interested in doing. So um, at that point, I had already registered two complaints with the hosts, which uh, their responses were, pretty aggressive and made me super uncomfortable. So when this cockroach incident happened, I called Airbnb and told them that we're leaving due to the multitude of health hazards that had presented themselves. And my daughter and I went to a hotel at almost midnight while my husband stayed back to pack everything up and then brought everything to that hotel. So we lived in that hotel for three nights. Um, it was a nice hotel, so I'm not complaining, but having a month's worth of travel stuff and three people in a slightly bigger than standard size hotel room was challenging. Uh, also expensive, but uh, we needed to wait for Airbnb to kind of work things out to decide if they were gonna refund us and then we could move on to another Airbnb. Also, I wanna give a shout out to my friend Amit who happened to be giving away his free night that was expiring with Hyatt that I was able to use for one of our nights. So thank you again for that, that was awesome. Um, so it took three days for Airbnb to negotiate us out of our month long commitment with the hosts of the original Airbnb. We ended up paying for three nights even though we only stayed for one, which was fine with me as long as we never had to go back. Um, there's a bunch of other details that I won't bore you with, but ultimately we're happy with the outcome we're thankful to Airbnb for acting on our behalf and helping us out of a bad situation. So now we're settled into a great apartment in a new neighborhood we hadn't previously explored and we're loving it. Um, there's a huge park that takes up three blocks. It is just steps from our door where basically they have a fair every night, including like rides for little kids. There's a baby park, there's huge monuments and waterfalls and um, it seems like all the families in the neighborhood come out at night when it cools off to kind of hang out there and it really has like a good sense of community. Um, so by the end of this month we're hoping to have a better feel for what life here will be like uh, when we move here in a year or two. Like, subscribe, and share please and use my referral links if you're looking to accumulate massive amounts of miles so you can try out something like business class if you haven't already. Have a great week, you guys, and thank you for watching.